Big time is the start of blockchain gaming 2.0. What do I mean by that? Well, blockchain gaming 1.0 had a lot of issues. The first was that oftentimes in these games like Axie Infinity, you had to pay in order to play. And this is a really big issue for a lot of gamers that would like to be able to play a game without having to put in hundreds or thousands of dollars first. The second issue is that investors were the first class in these first generation blockchain games and the actual gamers were like second class citizens. They just weren't valued because they weren't spending that much money. The third issue with blockchain gaming 1.0 was these games were just kind of not that fun. They were defined by CAPTCHA or timer simulator games like Alien Worlds, which aren't really games at all. And then some really basic games like Axie Infinity. There wasn't really the in-depth high octane AAA quality gameplay that we've come to love. And then the fourth and final issue with blockchain gaming 1.0 is the economies. These games are often referred to as play to earn games and everyone who participated in the ecosystem expected that they could take out more money than they put in. And obviously everyone can't take out more than they put in. So there was a fundamental flaw to this entire idea. So now let's contrast that to blockchain gaming 2.0 what big time is. The first really big change and advantage is that it's completely free to play. You're not expected to put any money in and in fact even if you do put money in it doesn't make you stronger in the game. Which leads into the second really exciting thing about blockchain gaming 2.0 and that is that it's never pay to win. In fact, you can't pay to win. You have to build skills and you have to spend time in the game in order to win. Third, it's actually a fun game, which is the most important thing anytime you're talking about any sort of video games. I'm very excited about the player ownership aspect, but fun has to precede ownership or no one's gonna care about owning something in a world that they don't care about. And finally, anyone can download and play. And with the swipe of a credit card, you can't get stronger, but you can buy super cool cosmetic skins. And because this game is on the blockchain, you can then resell your skins if you want to later, and at the very least get some of the money out with the potential, if you're a good trader, to make some profit. Big Time is one of the first on-chain 2.0 games, which is why I'm super excited to make this sponsored video that is going to be an overview of the entire big time economy so that you guys can understand exactly how it's going to work and how you might want to participate if you hope to profit. For those of you guys who are completely new to big time, it is an action role playing game that has some time travel aspects and it's set in a massive multiplayer open world. Games like this are right up my alley, so I am so so excited for this one. Now we're gonna cover exactly how the big time economy works in four simple parts. Part one is that this is entirely a cosmetic based economy. In a typical free to play economy, think League of Legends or Valorant, the game studio creates and sells all the cosmetics from the top down to the player and makes all of the profit off of it. But in big time, they're inviting the players to become an integral part of this economy by letting the players be the one who craft these cosmetics and sell it to other players on their own. Essentially, big time will still create the 3D models and then release the crafting recipes, but it's up to the players who are playing the game to gather the resources that they need to fulfill the recipe, craft the NFT cosmetic, and then sell it on the marketplace or use it themselves. There are going to be four main advantages of cosmetic NFTs in big time, and none of them make you better or stronger in the game itself. But what they do give you is one status and uniqueness. People are going to see you running around in this world. And if you look super awesome, trust me, they're gonna be impressed by you. Plus, all of the cosmetic NFTs in big time have a supply limit. 
meaning that every single skin is going to be rare and some are going to be super rare all the way down to one of one cosmetic looks that are really going to impress everyone that you see in this world. Second, supply is limited and more than being limited, each season, the skins that were craftable in the last season are no longer going to be available. So if you have a really cool skin from an early season, it's not only going to establish you as someone who looks really cool, but also as someone who's been a part of this metaverse for a very long time. Third, these cosmetic skins are skins that you really own and you can resell, which is super great because say there's another game that comes along, you really want to play it. Well, you don't have to feel bad about all the sunk cost that you have in big time if you have sunk cost, because you're going to be able to get some of that back out and move it into the next game, which is so, so, so much better for players than League of Legends, where I personally have thousands of dollars of sunk cost in skins that I'm a little bit ashamed of because, well, it's all money that's gone forever. And then finally, some of these unique cosmetic skins are going to give you unique access. For example, there will be lounges that maybe only people with a certain type of cosmetic skin are going to be able to enter, which is going to create these exclusive groups where you can make parties and find other players that are just as dedicated to the game as you are, as well as exclusive dungeons that are going to have unique cosmetic loot drops that only people that already own cosmetics are going to have a chance to earn. Okay, okay, so this is really cool. It's a full cosmetic economy, but how do we as players actually participate in it? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because that's what we're explaining next. In order to craft cosmetics, there are two prerequisites. The first is you have to own some sort of space in big time. Space is kind of big time's version of NFT land. And in your space, you can customize it however you want and fulfill the second requirement, which is putting a utility NFT in your space. These utility NFTs are armories, which create cosmetic armor, forges, which create cosmetics for weapons, and time wardens, which we'll get more into in a minute. They're going to be super, super valuable in the economy. So just to quickly repeat, you need space and then a utility NFT in that space. If you have both of these requirements met, well, congratulations, you get to participate in crafting cosmetic NFTs and selling them on Lootbox or any other marketplace. Now it is time for part two of this economic overview for big time. Part two is gonna be about hourglasses and the time crypto token. Hourglasses are very important in the world of big time. While not required to play the game or level up your character or things like that, hourglasses are super important if you want to earn time tokens. Because unless you have an hourglass equipped, you will not earn time tokens for playing the game. The reason this is very important is because the total number of hourglasses is set and limited, which means even if you have millions and millions and millions of players coming into the world of big time, well, the inflation rate of time crypto is locked, it's set, and it's not going to grow. Whereas the sinks for time token will grow with the player base, because remember, everyone can buy and spend time even if they can't earn it. So this sets up a situation where you have a limited number of hourglasses, so a limited number of owners, but an infinite and growing potentially number of players in the game world, which will continue and continue to increase the burn rate of time token. So as you have supply fixed, and demand increasing, that is the economic definition of what creates value appreciation. And if the number of players stays the same, well, then hopefully time can stay relatively stable. Now it is time for part three of this video, where we're gonna do a quick overview of the full value chain to make sure you understand clearly everything I've talked about so far. At the start of the value chain, you have time wardens, which remember players are going to be able to equip if they own a space and a time warden. Time wardens have the ability to create hourglasses, at least while supplies last, 
once the max number of hourglasses that can be minted have been minted, Time Wardens will be focused only on refilling hourglasses that already exist. Hourglasses are then going to be generating the time tokens as players with the hourglass equipped play the game in order to farm that sweet cryptocurrency. Time tokens are then going to be used by armory and forge owners. The players who own these armories and forges are going to need to burn these time tokens in order to craft the cosmetic skins that make up the main economy of big time. And these cosmetic skins are eventually going to find their way to the end user. And big time expects the majority of the users in their game, because they're focused on trying to make this game fun, are actually going to be free to play players or players that are spending a very minimal amount. And there's going to be a ton of cosmetic skins that are at very affordable prices. And it's up to people who own space and armories and forges and time wardens who actually make cosmetics through this value chain. And it's the players that are going to be getting the value from selling these cosmetic skins. I want to emphasize once again that each season's cosmetic NFTs are limited. And when the next season starts, the previous season's NFTs will never be mintable again. And also because there is a limited supply of the total cosmetics that can be minted in each season, the start of each new season launches a new race to try and be the first to craft these super cool new cosmetic NFTs. This ensures that the meta layer of the game stays fresh and each new season will have new things to learn and and create. Now it is time for the final part of this video, which is going to be a more in-depth look at all of these big utility NFTs that are going to be going on sale here in the next couple days. Specifically, we're talking about the Armory, Forge, and Time Wardens. Just for complete transparency, I personally am going to be participating in this sale. I own a lot of space, like tens of thousands of dollars of space in big time. And I definitely want to have these utility NFTs to equip on top of my space. Each of these utility NFTs is pretty self-explanatory if you've already been listening to the first part of this video. So the Forge is going to be in charge of crafting, refining, and upgrading cosmetics for weapons. Forges have 10 different rarity types. Well, actually all three of these NFTs that we're gonna be going over have 10 different rarity types. A forge can only mint cosmetic collectibles up to the rarity of the forge. So a common forge is not gonna be able to mint a unique one of one cosmetic weapon skin in a season. However, the unique forge will be able to mint skins of every rarity below it, as well as the unique cosmetics. Second, armories are utility NFTs that once again have to be paired or put in a space that have the ability to create cosmetic armor NFTs. So forges are for weapons, armories are for armor, makes sense. Armories can also refine cosmetic shards into refined cosmetic shards. And we're not gonna get too into cosmetic shards in this video, but just know they along with time are what you're using to actually forge cosmetic items. And cosmetic shards drop in the game when you play it. Just like forges, there are 10 different rarities for armories. And one really important note for all of these is that there is a max limited supply for these utility NFTs. In total, there's about 1.4 million utility NFTs max that are going to be able to exist in the game. This number is immutable and will never change for any of these utility NFTs. And finally, it is time to do an overview of the Time Warden. Time Wardens are NFTs that focus on creating, minting, recharging, and upgrading hourglasses. Of these three utility NFTs that are placeable in space, Time Wardens are also going to be the most rare. With only 308,000 existing in big time, forever. Time Wardens will have two of 
four different colors that exist apart from their rarity. The colors are red, green, blue, and rainbow, which I guess technically isn't its own, its own color. It's kind of all the colors. And that's also what it represents in the game. If one of the two colors that your utility NFT has is rainbow, then it can actually count as any of the colors, depending on what you prefer. Dependent on the colors that your Time Warden have will affect some special bonuses that the Time Warden is also going to have. Now, one question that you should be asking if you've been paying attention to this whole ecosystem is, well, how do Time Wardens mint hourglasses, recharge hourglasses, and upgrade hourglasses if they're at the very, very beginning of this ecosystem? And that's a great question. And the way that they do that is with time crystals. Time crystals are a non-cryptocurrency and they are Big Time's premium currency, which is purchased directly from Big Time. Remember, Big Time has to be able to make some money somehow in this ecosystem, right? They can't let players make and sell and earn all of the income or the game couldn't exist. So time crystals are non-transferable. They can drop in the game, uh, but they're gonna be very rare. And they're mostly gonna be just something that you purchase directly from big time. Forges and armories will be able to use them if they're trying to get bonus rolls, but mostly they're gonna be used by time wardens for hourglass crafting, recharging, and upgrading. Time crystals might also be required for accessing some rare unique areas inside the game. Once again, time crystals, even though they can drop playing the game, are linked to your account and cannot be traded or sold. They are meant to be used by you. If you would like to go more in depth into the big time economy, then feel free to visit their wiki, which is linked in the description. Also, if you guys want to participate in the sale of these utility NFTs, then make sure you use our link in the description. One super exciting thing about these utility NFTs is they start really cheap at just like $17, I think, or, or $18, something around there under 20 bucks. And if you you own a utility NFT, then it is going to unlock airdrops for you. Airdrops are going to be super cool ways that the big time team wants to award people who have purchased these early utility NFTs. So you might get some random gifts as time goes on and development continues. And they want to make sure that these early adopters, those of us who are supporting them and helping them build this game by participating in these sales will be well rewarded. Hey yo, awesome news guys. So Big Time actually gave us a creator code. So if you would like to support on-chain gaming, myself and my team, when you are participating in this NFT sale, use the code on-chain gaming at purchase and it will give us a 20 percent kickback on your purchase which will support myself and our team as we try to create the best crypto gaming content on YouTube. Currently road tripping from Texas to California for Christmas and I'm sleeping in my Tesla as you can see by my air mattress here because we're in a bear market and I am trying to buy as much crypto and stock as I can so you know I'm not spending money at hotels right now. So use the code Gaming at checkout and 20% Big Time is so generous, is going to be kicked back to our team at OnChain Gaming to keep making dope videos for y'all. Hopefully this video made it very clear and simple how the big time economy is going to work. I am personally really excited for big time. I am so excited that crypto gaming is moving from 1.0 to 2.0. We've learned valuable lessons from the mistakes of the past and big time is ensuring that this economy is going to be sustainable and fun for everyone, especially free to play players who don't wanna feel disadvantaged because they don't have tens of thousands of dollars to throw into these games. If you guys are excited about big time, make sure you go participate in this NFT sale. Drop a thumbs up so that more people can learn about how the big time economy is going to work. And if you're not subscribed yet, well, what are you doing? You just watched this whole video. Make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell so that you do not miss any of our future coverage about crypto gaming. And until next time, everyone, have fun playing big time.